Today's promise is taken from Matthew 24 and verse 35. Heaven and earth may pass away, but my words will never pass away, says the Lord Jesus Christ to you. There is no security in the world today. No security about our protection, our health, our job, and our life itself. But God says, you will live by my word. My word will never pass away from you. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from my mouth to you. Deuteronomy 8.3, Matthew 4.4. 4. God is speaking his word to you for you to live. For you to live. Yes, he has the word of life. His disciples said, where shall we go, Lord? Where shall we go? Only you have the words of life. We have to be with you to have life and to live on this world. God's life is coming to you through his word. Do not be afraid. Jesus loves you. In Isaiah 40 and verse 8, God says, The grass withers, and the flowers fail or fall, but the word of our God endures forever. The grass may fail. And all the exuberance and the adornment of this world, the flowers may fall, but God's word endures forever. God's word will make you live. What does the word of God do? If you read First Peter chapter 1 and verse 23, For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field, and the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. The word of the Lord does one thing. Everything of the world makes you perish. The glory of the world, the lust of the world makes you perish, but the word of God regenerates you, makes you endure, endure, endure. When the devil comes to tempt you, the word of the Lord comes to drive him out and to challenge him and to remove him from your path. The word of God comes to heal and to raise you up from your sickness and even from the sickness of sin and temptation. The word of God makes you endure, makes you live. And this word of God goes on from generation to generation. If you read Psalm 77 and verse 8, in one translation it says, it goes on for your children and to your children's children. A covenant. God says, I will not keep my word from you. It shall go on and protect you and feed you and make you live in this world. On the 20th July 1967, the Holy Spirit took my father to heaven and Jesus made a covenant with my father that my father will serve him. And as he sheds tears and prays for the people, Jesus would come see his tears and wipe away the tears of the people. But my father said, Lord, I will fulfill your will and serve you only if you promise that you will come with me wherever I go. And that promise was kept by God till my father's death. And it continues even today in my life. And it continues in the life of our children. Both my wife and I see it and experience it. And I believe it will go on to our granddaughter too. God's word shall endure from generation to generation. God has made a covenant with you. Father, we pray that we will live according to your word. 
trusting in your word not trusting in the heavens or the earth or the grass or the flowers but just your word feed us lord and lead us lord thank you for this provision in jesus name amen god bless you